I just realized something. If you keep hovering above the text for Hive Swap, it actually shows their colors. Ardata and Diamond. Still can't pronounce his name. That's actually a neat little touch. Boop, 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 boop. Like a cat to a laser pointer. Oh, right, the video. Hey, everyone! This is Swizzly Bubbles, and welcome back to another episode of Hive Swap Friendship Simulator. Now, feedback has been fairly good on it. It's better than I expected, at least. Um, so, since you guys seem to like this series and want a little bit more normal content for a while, I figure, why not just give it to you? Um, today, we're actually going to be starting off a little differently. We're going to be starting off with Diamond, Demon, whatever his name is. We're going to be starting with his story now. We already played through Ardata's first ending, which is the rejection ending. So now we're going to be moving on to Demon, Di the, the red guy. We're going to be moving on to him next and just going through that the first time through. Then we'll go through the endings as we see fit. So no more lollygagging. We're hovering over the text. The distracting, lovely, luscious text. Let's actually start this. We just crash landed. We already know all of this if you've seen the first episode. If not, go watch it now. So, who will be our buddy for this? Well, we already did our data, so it's time for us to do Diamond. I'm just going to be calling him Diamond for the rest of that because it's Die Men. Die Men. We're going to go with Hot Dog Guy. Let's check him out. Yes, someone is approaching. A strange, gray-skinned alien with a cozy-looking hoodie. Perhaps they will make for a good friend? Not the music I was expecting, but alright. What's up? Oof. I... Hang on. Sorry. I didn't get a good look at you before I started talking. I guess you're really weird-looking. Kind of uncomfortable about this. Your stammering reply eventually conveys that you are a lost traveler who is hungry and probably in some need of medical treatment. You're also really lonely and wouldn't mind making a new friend right about now. Hungry, huh? I see what your game is. If you aren't sure what he's talking about, then your eyes drift towards the obvious target. That exquisite hot dog he's holding. It looks really, really good. Your mouth starts watering noticeably. That does not look appetizing. I mean... The green bun, sure, but the horns look like they'd stab you if you try to take a bite out of it. I mean, maybe trolls like that, but I know I wouldn't, but apparently my character does, so I'm just gonna go along with it. Oh no, I knew it. You're just like all the rest. Your agenda is to have me relinquish my delicacy. I don't have an agenda, I just met you. Well, forget it. I've been tricked out of two other oblong meat products this week already. Oh, we're, we're gonna be using this now? Alright. We're gonna be calling them the weird, the weird names. Like the perfectly generic object and all that? Alright. I know you probably think I'm an easy mark due to my blood color, but I still have some dignity at least. Take it easy, man. It's just a hot dog. I don't know anything about his blood color or why that would matter in his converse in this conversation about this hot dog. You're hungry, sure, but you didn't mean to cast a threatening gaze at his meal. All you really want to do is make a new buddy. Well, all you really want is to do is to make a new buddy. That is not structured well. That is a sentence. So you don't feel quite so alone in this strange new world. I see. You just want a friend and not my sweet me. Um, I, I think I'm good not having any of your sweet me, buddy. I, I, I'm sorry. I get a little paranoid when I rock ar walk around with such delicacies in public. Can't be too careful. Folks tend to get that greedy look in their eyes around my warm sausage. He's going to be our innuendo guy. I can already feel it. I love him. These are odd ways to express the things he's saying, you think. Even, even Hussy knows. Even our, even our guy knows. He gets it. 
but it would be rude to point that out. Probably best to change the subject, get this blossoming friendship moving in the right direction. Ask if he lives near- Ask if he lives nearby. Ask if you can have a bite of his hot dog. It looks amazing. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I wanna actually be his friend. I don't wanna take his hot dog just yet. You know, maybe we'll take it for later, but not now. We'll ask if he lives nearby first. Be, be warming, be charming. Maybe still his hot dog stash if he has it, who knows? Yeah, or I uh, used to, I mean. My place was bombed by drones a while ago. Awkward. Now I don't have a hive, but I'm making it work out here. So you're homeless. Great. Now I can see why you want that hot dog a lot more. Foraging for tasty things when I can. I've got pretty good at it. Talking to people into giving me meat products, I mean. Okay, then. <laughs> This is starting to get a little depressing, a little too real. You quickly feel a sense of pity for your new friend. You thought you had it rough, crash landing here. Hungry and friendless, and come to think of it, feels like your arm is broken? Your ribs too, maybe, but enough self-pity. Okay, so our arms are- Okay, so the status of our body parts is the same as last time. Uh, this is about making a new great friend. You ask your friend if there's anything you can do to improve his life. Oh wait, are we friends now? Like, is that official? And I don't know. Why don't we slow down a bit, see how things go. Not saying it's out of the question, I just think I should take some time to see if you're actually friendship material. Okay, what do you mean by that? Someone I trust, you know? Not just another looky-loo gunning for my delicacy. Hey, hey! We're all friends here. Don't get for snickety. Just because your hot dog is... Uber delicious doesn't mean I want any of it. Again, it hurt my mouth, but you know. Oh damn, you got out of over. Oh damn, you got out over your skis again. Of course he's right. This is totally reasonable. You feel sure you can do what it takes to win him over. You make a mental note to avoid looking at or mentioning his hot dog, since it seems to be such a sensitive subject. Do everything in your power to avert your gaze from the hot dog. You are aggressively not looking at it. In fact. Don't think hot dog thoughts. Don't think hot dog thoughts. It's working. You aren't thinking about hot dogs at all. It's like he isn't even holding one, and no one ever even brought up the fact that hot dogs exist. He seems to notice at some primal level your current non-hot dog mindset. He smiles. Okay. It's writing like this that just... I said in the last episode, but this writing just kills me. It's just so snarky. It's so sarcastic. It, like, it knows. Like, Cassie knows. He, he knows his audience too well, and that's what's so great about it. What a nice friend this would be to have, you think. He's kind of adorable, really, if you disregard the prickly attitude about his hot dog. Okay, wait a minute. You don't want to start thinking thoughts that are too friendly. You should dial this down a little. Stick to the basics. You just want a cool new friend. Nothing more. I... I... I didn't want anything other than just to be a friend. What are you thinking? Because I just want to be in the friend zone. I don't want to go into any more inner zones than that, okay? This is just met. We should try to spark up some non-meat related conversation before things get awkward. You wonder about his house. It got bombed? Yeah, you know, routine drone passed through my hood. A little bombing, a little calling. That's how it goes around here. I was the lucky one. My Lysus, not so much. Aww. Oh, his Lysus died. He's a goner. Oh, he's crying! Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. You don't know what a Lysus is, but you can deduce it was something important to him, who probably died in the bombing. Rather than overwhelm him with annoying questions about his culture, you decide to, the right play is to show some sympathy. Thanks. I miss him. Sometimes I think... I enjoy savory bun delights as a way of covering up the pain. Oh, <laughs> Now I just feel bad for him. I don't even want to be his friend, I just want to help him. Give him a hug. Poor guy. They're so good though, it's hard to stop. Also, I favored the juicy meats before he died anyway. It's something we did together. <laughs> oh, God. This is actually getting really sad! 
Oh, how do we start talking about my hot dog once more? Let's drop it, please, dude. Don't bring it up again. I didn't do it. I didn't bring it up. Exactly. Even the even the game knows it. You didn't bring it up, but you don't want to correct him. The boy is clearly grieving. Yeah, let's just get off the hot dog subject, please. <laughs> Jesus. You see two faint red tears roll down his cheeks from behind the messy bangs. Your heart can't take it. You have to console this homeless boy somehow. Then I'll definitely be your friend. But what to do? Give him a friendly pat on the back? Give him a reassuring hug? <sighs> this is where the boys become the men. I give him a hug. That That's too pushy. He'll think I'm going after his hot dog. Maybe I'll just give him a friendly pat on the back, but then he might drop his hot dog. But a friendly pat on the back is just like, Hey, I'm sorry for your loss. Might look a bit sneaky, but I don't want to get too pushy. If I try to hug him, he might think I'm, like, trying to attack him or something. I don't know what trolls do in this culture. I don't know what trolls do in general in terms of, like, how it is in Hive Swap. I only know it from how they interacted in Homestuck. And that was after their culture got decimated, so you give him a pat on the back, just to be safe. You keep it simple and pat him on the back a couple of times. Everything's going to be okay, since you're his new friend, or at least working toward earning that status. He has a new ally to help him with whatever comes his way. He wipes his tears and appears to get himself back together. Your friend, your friendly gesture works. Yeah! Yeah, friendship! Gave, my, gave myself a high five there. God, I wish I had real life friends. No, I do. No, it, before anyone has to know, it's it's all good. I'm just, yeah, it's, I have to I have to make friends through a friendship simulator. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be really sad? You're right. I shouldn't let the past get me down. In a way, I'm free. I'm off the grid. They probably think I died. Very true. No need to worry about knocks on my door because I don't have a door anymore. Exactly. Look at the bright side of life. Silver lining. Maybe I can live off the land for the rest of my life, okay? It, you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Scrounging for sumptuous d indulgences wherever I may find them. Okay, you're getting a, you're getting the hopes a little too high there, Buster. I, I don't think you're going to find many hot dogs just lying around everywhere. Although, then again, the callings happened in this world, so... Maybe he could raid people's houses? Because they're not there anymore. Oh no, no, they bombed the houses. Those get destroyed. Right. By rummaging through awful drums. Awful drums? Or awful drums? Whatever, it's, so, it's a whole Allen Wrench situation again. We're smooth talking the right mark. Sounds like the life on this, like. It's really hard to read given his quirk with the parentheses. God, that's- it's kind of annoying me. I keep thinking there's like two eyes there. Ugh. I'll miss my lessons, but I think he would be proud of me. If I, can, if I can make it without him, if I can survive on my own, I know he would be proud. Maybe I don't even need to leave the planet? Maybe I can avoid talking- Maybe I can avoid taking the ordeals altogether. Can't test, you can't find. Or can't test who you can't find. If I could play my cards right, I can probably live to ripe old age on this planet without getting caught. You're you're getting your plans a little way too ahead, but you know, I'm rooting for you. Little little bit. Just dial it back, dial it back. That's not dialing it back. Hide <laughs> like hiding in the alleys and sewers, scraping together just enough succulent proteins to keep myself going. You're really persistent on the hot dog talk, aren't you? Okay, whatever. Be a homeless sewer boy. I don't care, as long as you're happy. And, you know, not dying. Honestly, I don't even need to get by that long. Since I have a much shorter lifespan than most trolls. They, they do? Are red blood... Do red bloods have shorter lifespans? Was that a thing and I just missed it in the comic? Let me know in the comments if that's true. Uh, so I think I might just be able to make this work. You look confused at the last remark, but again, don't want to be impolite. He holds up his hand as if to tell you not to bother. 
I can tell you're not from here. It's okay. Rust Bloods don't live a long time. Right? It's Rust Bloods. I forgot. I forgot about that. They they cry like red tear, reddish looking tears, which is weird considering like their blood is literally like the color of rust. It's like brownish. Um, but yeah, I I should should have probably told from the shirt. That's why they don't have a short lifespan, because they keep getting killed by other trolls. Blood classes higher than me live progressively longer the higher you go up. Yeah, right there. Right there. Sea dwellers live... Sea dwellers live basically forever. Yeah, like Teferi and Aradin. Um, again, two trolls from the comic. Uh, basically, sea dwellers basically immortal. You know, immortal in the sense that they can live forever, not that they can't Kill, but I'm not gonna indulge that. You can just go read it for yourself. It's kind of crazy and seems unfair, but that's how it is. Literal blood cast, dude. I feel you. I'd be jealous of them, but I think I'm not. I'm almost grateful I don't have very long to make it in this world. I don't know what I'd do if I had longer. I'm happy to settle into a nice short ride to the low profile, taking some good meat along the way. Nothing wrong with that life, if you ask me. You understand. It seems like a tragic story, but if your friend has made peace with his destiny, you might as well, too. You offer a sympathetic shrug and continue your impressive streak of consecutive seconds, not looking at his hot dog at all. Really? We're back to that? After that really terrible story, we're still focusing on that stupid hot dog? I... He smiles again. He seems to be relaxing, gripping the dog a little less tightly. That's good. You know, you're good at listening. Not many people understand me at all. Dude, reader, don't try and go after his hot dog. Don't do all this and then just, like, try and swipe it out of his hand. Please don't, because I feel like that's where this is going. A lot of people find my overly possessive attitude towards needy delights to be strange and off-putting. I've heard this more than once and lost some friends that way. <sighs> There are some past personal dramas I do not want to think about, let me tell you. But you're different. Maybe you put me at ease because it's obvious you're even lower than me? I'll, I'll just take that as a compliment. No offense, but you are. Offense taken, but, you know, I, I accept it. I'm not going to question you and your planet. Your planet, your rules. Well, your planet, the higher blood cast rules. Drones would vaporize a hornless goof like you, no questions asked. Feeling so loved here, just just absolutely enamored by your civilization. Can you just give me the hot dog now? Cause I think I'm gonna need it. I'm getting getting really sad up in here. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. You laugh it off. You're not scared, you say. You survived worse. I've been through worse. How much worse? I mean, I know in the last one I just got done with like a torture chamber type thing, but. How much worse would I be off? Okay, whatever. You clutch your sore ribs with your broken arm and wince even harder because of that. Oh man, looks like that arm's hurt, huh? Yes, you are much more friendly than our data was. You, you actually notice that I'm hurt or don't try and mind control me. I guess it's broken. Let's see what we can do about that. Here, hold this for a second. No, 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 don't give me that. No. No, we were just good friends. Don't do it. He hands you his hot dog without hesitation. Oh, wow. He wants you to hold it? This is such a remarkable gesture of trust. You're overwhelmed. You gingerly take the hot dog with your good arm, being very careful. You hold the hot dog from beneath with your fingertips, as if it's a priceless, delicate treasure. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. He takes off his vest and puts it on the ground. Then he takes off his shirt. You avert your eyes for a moment, then realize that's silly. Nothing particularly indecent about this, you suppose. Beast comfortable? So are you. I don't like where this is going. Okay, then. Then he puts his vest back on, takes the hot dog back from you, and hands you the shirt. Here, I made a sling out of it. Okay. That, okay. Not, not gonna question that. It, you made me sling. I'm okay with that. I'm happy. That should help. He's right, it does help. Your broken arm is a lot more comfortable and secure. 
this shirt smells like me, too. Can't tell if you think that's a bonus or if it's weird. You decide it's a bonus. This is your new friend. He loves me, and so do you. It's your greatest common interest, in fact. Nice. You know, I think we make a pretty good team. Well, you know what? We do. We really do. I don't know if I'm ready to officially call you my friend yet. That's completely fair. I did just crash land on your planet after all, and really am I in your hot dog that is such a priceless treasure to you after your house got blown up and you were almost killed, so... Totally fair there. But I may be getting close. Ooh, we're heading to the friend zone! Usually people will be sad that they're going into the friend zone, but here, I've got no other zone to go to, so... Take that, society! Troll society! Again, quite lonely. You're pushing all the right buttons, man. Just being someone who listens and understands, you have no idea how much that means to me. You're so happy to hear this. It makes your heart sing. Aww. Well, if you're keeping it totally real, some of these things he's saying are just a little strange. Like, maybe this boy wasn't really socialized properly. By his Lucis, you guess? Lucis, Lucis. I still don't know the right saying to that. You'd think that might be his dad, but again, you don't dare ask. Not when the positive feelings are flowing like this. Why kill the move? He gets a little closer and swoops a hand through his thick black fangs. For the briefest moment, you catch a glimpse of one of his eyes regarding you fondly. Your heart beats a bit faster. Uh, where is this going? I'm getting a... Getting a little... Getting a little hot and bothered. Getting a little, um... Getting a little, uh... Weirded out right now. He puts a hand on your shoulder. You're... You're starting to wonder if all he's interested in is friendship. You hope that's all he wants. You don't think you're ready for anything more than that. You're desperate for friendship, or really companionship of any sort, but that's moving pretty fast for you. Please, um, okay, we're friends. Just, just back away. But you're too nervous to make your feelings clear on all of this. If he goes any further, you're not sure if you'll have the will to protest. Okay, where is this going? Because I'm now getting actually scared right now. This took a dark it took a dark turn with our data and now it's getting really dark here. Listen, dude. This gorgeous new product we both admire, I'm thinking maybe we should share it. Oh no, I don't want to share your meat, dude. Please don't let me share your meat product. I think that sounds good actually. Oh my yes, that sounds wonderful. You're so hungry. And you're beside yourself with gratitude that Diamond is willing to share with you something so precious to him. It really means a lot. Here, I have an idea. Okay, back up! This is too close! What? No. No! He brings his face close to yours. He holds the hot dog up between your faces, with both ends of the dog pointing to his mouth and yours. Oh, we're doing a Lady of the Tramp situation up here. I'm not gonna kiss you! Please don't make me kiss you! This is a friendship simulator! We're friends! We're friends! You're not sure what he wants you to do. You can't find the breath to ask. It seems he wants you to eat the hot dog with him, Lady in the Tramp style! I fucking knew it! I called it! And that's my only option. Please no. Please no. Can I... Can I help you? Can I stop? Can I not go any further? Can I go back to our data? I mean, I, I was I was fine with the home furnishing, at least that's something I knew. She did kick me out into the street, but I'll survive. This is, um, this is a bit too much. Yes, if pressed on it, you'd agree the act is uncomfortably erotic, but you have to admit it is a good way to share a food item whilst ensuring it gets split about evenly. You can make this about whatever you want, and you can spin this any way you want. It doesn't make this any less creepy. And you absolutely loathe the idea of letting a friend down. It's completely at odds with your values as a person. He's getting closer. I'm, I'm actually... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna back away. You chomp down and you're into the hot dog. As, does, as he does with his, and simultaneously... Holy oh shit, that is so good. He's getting closer every single click. I'm, I don't want to click anymore. Stop making me click. 
I, I kind of just want to see where this ends, though. You take another bite, and he times his bite perfectly. He's really good at this game. It's throwing off your chewing a bit, which makes you cough a little when you swallow. But you don't feel like you can pause without breaking your eating rhythm with him. Might be what a bad friend would do. Stop trying to justify this as friendship. This is getting creepy. You keep going without really quite swallowing as you go. You get closer to his face, which is creating an imminent situation you aren't sure how you're going to handle. You haven't planned for it, and it's coming up fast. I kind of wish I had ditched this kid. No lie. I am I'm don't want to kiss you. Please. We're just friends. We're friends. We're friends. Stop it. <laughs> the hot dog backlog collecting in your throat is getting a bit too heavy, so you try to swallow, but you can't. You gag and cough up all the chewed hot dog matter explosively into his face. I didn't even chew the hot dog! It was just going- it was just being shoved right into my mouth. Stop! Stop! The innuendos are too much! Thank you! He recoils, absolutely stunned. His bangs are blown back and he's staring at you with wide eyes. Hot dog and bun bits are all over his face. He says nothing for a moment. Then puts his hands to his throat. Oh fuck, he's choking. Oh god, no! He points at his mouth desperately. You need to do something. The Heimlich, of course. That's what you need to do. You need to save your friend's life. Oh, why? <laughs> this went so wrong. No, please don't die. You get behind him and put your good arm around his belly and form a fist. You plunge the fist in under his ribs, trying to dislodge his masticated delicacy. It's no use. You can't get any leverage. You need your other arm. My broken arm? It really hurts, though. You'll have to make the sacrifice for your friend. I'm gonna break off my arm, aren't I? No, please stop. Yes, a friend who may have just tri tried to trick you into kissing him with a silly hot dog stunt. Please don't tell me we're gonna leave him to die. Give me a choice on this. For the love of God, or I'm not gonna feel happy with myself after this. You're not sure how you'll navigate that tricky subject once he's breathing again, but you'll deal with that later. Right now, you have a life to save. You pull your broken arm out of its sling and grab your other fist in front of his belly and squeeze! You try and try and try. His face is turning... Well, not blue. Deep red? You guess because his blood is rust-colored? Sure, that makes sense. You yank one more time, your broken arm throbbing in pain. A huge gob of chewed hot dog, there he goes. Launches out of his mouth like a cannonball and the expulsion creates enough force in the other direction. It causes you to accidentally lift him up into the air and accidentally suplex him into the mud behind you. Oh, no! You in turn go tumbling over him, and the two of you are soon locked into an inseparable pinwheel of interspecies downhill mayhem. You roll and roll down the grassy incline toward a nearby neighborhood toward a street. We're gonna die, aren't we? Luckily, you stop just short of the street, but Diamond's neck lands right on the sharp edge of the curb. And after flipping in the air once or twice, you come down right in his face with your big ass. Thanks. You hear a crack. Oh no, I just killed him, didn't I? Diamond? You slap his cheek a little. No response. He's not breathing. You check his mouth. Throat is clear of hot dog debris. Oh god. This can't be happening. You look around, panicked. I'm actually looking around in game. This isn't what you need right now. All you wanted was a friend. You can't be held responsible for alien murder. I was joking in the description of the last one. I didn't think we'd actually be murdering a kid. You have to hide the body. No, I'm not gonna hide the body! You see a couple of kids creeping out of nearby houses to see what all the commotion is. There's no time. You gotta find a bush or something. There, over there. It looks like a, a little alien bushy thing. It's pretty small, but it'll have to do. You drag the vested shirtless carcass over to the bush. That ain't a bush, kid. You dump the body in the bush, and it's really not convincing. It looks like a dead kid was unceremoniously dropped on top of a small bush in a poor attempt to conceal a murder. We're like just terrible at this, aren't we? You've got to come up with a better- Wait a minute, someone is standing behind you. Oh, not you! Why you? I just got done with you! Hello, stranger. Don't worry about this little mess you've made. I'll take care of it for you. I don't want you to take care of it. Please, you've done enough.
you kill them. That's just how it ends. Oh, God. Oh, and there's my sling. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I got the worst possible ending on this, too. I was just trying to be nice. You can't even be nice in this game. Nice just gets you killed. It really is true to the comic. Oh, and there's my right arm and a sling. Oh, and there's the bush and the... And there's Ardata with her glowing, just, eyes of mind control. I don't even know what she's gonna do with them. Is, is this supposed to be, like, continuity where there's just a bunch of them and they just wrap around and then, like, Ardata brings the other kid in the- Was Diamond the one trapped in the cage because he had rust-colored blood? I hope that's not the case and that this isn't just, like, all a cyclical thing. Keep in mind, there's several endings to this, and this is just volume one. And already, all of this has just happened. Hi, Vey. Well, that was interesting. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I preferred the torturing, and the tables, and our data. I didn't prefer her coming in and concealing my murder, but, you know, bygones be bygones. He did try to French kiss me and shove a giant slong down my throat. A giant snossage down my esophagus. I thought last episode was weird. This went into all new levels of creepy. But it was fun, I guess. I feel terrible. Uh, and now I lay in my broken spaceship as I decide whether or not to continue. And see if I can try to make a better friend this time. See if I can try to be a better friend this time. And not suplex him over a cliff into a cartwheel. Uh, well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everyone. Have yourselves a wonderful Friday weekend, whenever this gets posted. Have yourself a great week, month, year, apocalypse, whatever. We're all friends here. We're all trying to be friends here. Failing miserably, but we're all still friends. So, until next time, take care everyone, and I will see you all for whatever I plan next.